Right, well, we need to have a look at that problem that we discovered with the e-bike when we were in Shropshire the other weekend. Well, I found the key that undoes the battery. You can see the top of it is uh, broken. That's why I left it in the desk drawer at work. So I think the first thing to try is just to take the battery off and leave it for I don't know, 10 seconds or something. Put it back on again and see if that clears the fault. Let's see if that worked. Oh, well, that was uh, no different, I'm afraid. Still not registering any speed. So let's have another look at that speed sensor. Well, I've turned the bike over to have a look, and uh, yeah, there's the little magnet there, and that just moves past the sensor and should pick up the rotation of the wheel. Now, someone did suggest if we just replace that. Uh, magnet then uh, that might cure the problem i know magnets can lose their magnetism over time so uh, i've got this bit of steel uh, pipe off cut let's see if the uh, magnet is still attracted to it oh yeah that's pretty pretty strong yeah so i don't know i don't think anything can go wrong with that really <laughs> i mean it's either a magnet or it's not isn't it so uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the sensor itself that's playing up. Um, let's have a look, see if we can see where that's connected. So I've taken the battery off again, and uh, I can see down here there are some electrical connectors under there. I think if I undo these two hexagon keys, I might be able to take this cover off, and then we'll have a look at the connectors and stuff. At least <laughs> very very tight um, or just corroded in one or two that one's cracked now the old magic of plus gas can't really put any heat on this because it's uh, plastic of course <laughs> This has put up quite a fight, but I think the uh, plus gas has finally penetrated. So I think we can now get that other one out. God, that was uh, absolutely jammed in there. Another fixing at that end. I think that's a sort of a, a clip there. I've got to try and ping that off. Yeah, so this one's definitely the connector for that sensor. And uh, yeah, it looks like we could unplug it and remove this sensor and uh, see if we can get a replacement one perhaps. Uh, cable tied onto the back fork so just got to cut this cable tie to get it off ah, it just seems like it's wrapped around too much stuff to 
come out. Let's flip the bike over and have a look from the uh, underneath. Yeah, so uh, you can see the wire I'm trying to get out is uh, <laughs> trapped underneath this other wire. I'm gonna have to try and thread it through, I think. So there we go, there's my uh, speed sensor. The problem I've got is that uh, the company I brought this uh, bike from no longer exists. Uh, 50 cycles in Derby. They uh, had quite a few problems with this, in fact, the same motor I've got, the Impulse 2 motor. It's got a sort of a known fault with it that it develops um, a sort of a clacking noise and uh, then fails not long afterwards and uh, a lot of warranty uh, issues with it. Uh, fortunately, my motor has, has re remained okay so far. Uh, touch wood. But of course, that does mean I've got no one to speak to to order a direct replacement. I'm going to have a quick look on the internet and see if maybe I can get one direct from Kalpoff. Right, well, I've actually been looking online and I have found a place that has a spare sensor, but, uh, well, they list a spare sensor, but they're out of stock. So I've, I've clicked the little box to say notify me when they're back in stock. But I've also found some instructions for aligning it all. And actually, I don't know if you can see, there is a little mark there, which is where the magnet is supposed to pass. Now, it was passing sort of in the middle there because it had been up here. So I think it might have gone down the spoke, you know, so it could be as simple as it still wasn't aligned correctly. So I might just pop this back in and give it another test, making sure that the sensor goes past that little line. I feel like a bit of an idiot if that fixes the problem after all this, but uh, it will still be a good thing. Right, let's give it another test. No luck, I'm afraid. It's uh, still not picking up any speed, so I think that sensor must be faulty. I don't really know how you test that, how you go about testing that to make sure that's the faulty part. So I think I'll just have to try and find one and put it on. I did see some that looked very similar on eBay, marked up as for Bosch motors, uh, and I, I, I think that Impulse 2 is either a Bosch motor or made very similar to a Bosch motor. Uh, anyway, I might order one of them if these other guys don't get back to me and say when they're going to get uh, the proper part in stock, just to, to see if it'll work, because it does look almost identical. Right, well, I've been looking up how these uh, sensors work, and it's a Hall effect sensor, so I think in this uh, body here, somewhere there'll be a little fine wire, and as the magnet goes past, it should uh, deflect that wire and make a small electric current. So we should be able to pick that up on the multimeter if it's there. Problem, of course, is these are really tiny little uh, plugs. So uh, try and get a connection with the multimeter, not that easy. So we've got the uh, meter on 20 volts, so it should pick up a small current and then we pass the magnet over. And we're still picking up zero. I think that's the... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm making a contact in here or not. It'd be nice to have one that worked so we could see what the difference was. But if we had one that worked, we'd just stick it on the bike and we'd be okay, wouldn't we? But uh, this is as close to confirmation as I can get, I think, that this sensor is bad. Well, I have found uh, the correct sensor, but unfortunately it's showing uh, out of stock on this website. But they do helpfully list the uh, the parts code so 
do a bit of googling for that passcode and I uh, found it again on another site but uh, yeah out of stock but uh, third time lucky in stock two business days look so I'm going to order that one although it is more expensive than the other two well I've added it to my basket and look go to check out Unfortunately, delivery to Great Britain is temporarily unavailable. Ah, uh, this German site has it, look, but uh, not in stock. Ah, this uh, German site has it too, look. Uh, doesn't say it's not in stock. I'm going to try purchasing it. Wow, uh, <laughs> I'm going ahead with it, but uh, it's a €17.44 Euro 44 cents part. And I've added 21, well, nearly 22 euros shipping. So, yeah, it's going to cost me nearly 40 euros for this flipping speed sensor. Whereas the UK one was £9.99 if it had been in stock. OK, well, I went through the process of that and uh, it was a bit weird. It started to say the only option to pay was by bank transfer. And it sent me some details, but it wanted me to do it in euros i've no idea how you do that my banking app only gives me the option of pounds so i don't know uh it said i'd place the order but i've got no real means of paying <laughs> so anyway i've found uh, this site which seems to be another version of that um third site i looked at but this is saying it's got them in stock um £17.98, which is a bit better than €40, Euros, isn't it? Let's give that a shot. I don't know, when you go to do it, it's the same as the first version of the site. It says, delivery to Great Britain, temporarily unavailable. Found one on eBay, look, but uh, not in stock. Well, uh, there's one on this Polish website for 39 whatever the Polish currency is. Um... So let's uh, see what happens when we add it to the shopping cart and go through the process. Well, uh, unfortunately, when you go to try and order it, uh, you have to choose your shipping country and uh, the UK isn't on there, which I guess indicates they won't ship to the UK. Now, well, these uh, fellas in France seem to have them. I wonder if uh, have any better luck with a uh, French website. Okay, well, uh, I've come through to the ordering page and uh, I've got to choose my country for shipping and literally every country in the world is there except Great Britain, United Kingdom, whatever variation you want is not listed. <laughs> Yeah, this is not going well, this, is it? There's absolutely nothing in there for the United Kingdom. Right, I found these chaps, look, and they are saying they ship to Great Britain. They are in Germany as well, but they are saying they'll ship to Great Britain. Let's uh, see if we can check out. Right, well, I think I've successfully managed to order that now. Um, they accepted PayPal as well, which made things a bit easier. But their website wouldn't uh, automatically translate into English. So I, I had to put a lot of things into Google Translate to get through it all. So, uh, yeah, it took a bit of time. But uh, I think it's gone through OK. Cost me about 25 euros in the end. So... Yeah, I've no idea how long it'll take to uh, come. And there was a, a warning thing which said uh, about possibility of additional duties to the receiver. So uh, I don't know if that'll cause any problems. I guess this is all uh, Brexit related difficulties. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, eh? Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Give the like button a press. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more.